most often than not the dv lottery is described as a golden ticket to a green card but is it really as easy to win as it sounds let's dive in and separate fact from fiction so you know exactly what you're getting into if you get selected or if you decide to take a shot at this unique immigration program this year this is dn2l i know it's been a while but i'm back let's get started one the dv lottery is easy to win first off the notion that the DV lottery is easy to win is simply not true. Sorry to burst your bubble, but the odds are actually stacked against you. Millions of people from around the world enter this thing every single year, yet there are only about 50,000 diversity visas available annually. That means your chances of having your name drawn are pretty darn slim, no matter how lucky you think you are. But don't lose hope. Try every year until you are selected. Two. The government provides housing and jobs for DV lottery winners. Another major misconception about the diversity visa lottery program is that once you're selected and make the move to the United States, the government will take care of all the logistics for you. Many people assume the authorities will find you a place to live and even secure employment on your behalf. But the reality is quite different. If you win the DV lottery and relocate, you'll be responsible for finding your own accommodation and employment just like any other immigrant. In the beginning, you'll likely need to rely on the support of family or friends to have a place to stay before eventually arranging your own living situation and the job hunt will be up to you. There's no special assistance or placement provided by the government. The diversity visa program may open the door to legal permanent residency, but navigating the practical aspects of starting a new life in the US is still very much your own responsibility. Don't expect the authorities to hold your hand through the entire process. Be prepared to be self-reliant when it comes to housing and employment once you get here. 3. The DB Lottery is only open to a few countries. Another common misconception is that the DV lottery is only open to a handful of countries, but that's not the case at all. The State Department publishes a list of eligible countries each year, and it actually includes dozens of nations with historically low immigration rates to the US. So even if your home country isn't on the list one year, it might make the cut the next time around. Also, you may be eligible based on your parents' country of birth or your spouse's if their country is a qualifying country. You can check out my previous video more on that. 4. Multiple DV lottery entries improves your chances. You think that submitting more than one entry would improve your odds, right? Wrong. In fact, doing that will get you disqualified. The rules are very clear. You can only apply once per year for the DV lottery. So don't waste your time trying to game the system, especially not this one. 5. You need a college degree to qualify for the DV lottery. A lot of people assume you need a college degree to even qualify for the diversity visa program, but that's not true at all. The basic requirement is just a high school education or two years of work experience in an occupation that requires at least two years of training. So it's a lot more accessible than you might think. Six, winning the DV lottery automatically gives you a green card. Here's another big one. A lot of people think that if you are selected in the DV lottery, you automatically get a green card, but that's not how it works. Even if your name gets drawn, you still have to go through the full consular processing to get approved for the visa. This includes completing the DS-260 form, submitting supporting documents, medical examinations, interview at the consulate or embassy, and finally, being admitted in the USA by immigration. Selected applicants will have to go through all these before they can officially become a permanent resident. Buckle up. 7. Skipping the normal immigration process. One of the biggest myths about the diversity visa lottery is that it's a way to skip the normal immigration process but that couldn't be further from the truth. The DV program is a legitimate official pathway to a green card, just like family-based or employment-based immigration. Selected winners still have to go through the full consular processing, background checks, and other requirements before they can actually obtain their permanent resident status. Eight, sponsoring family members. Another common misconception is that if you win the diversity visa lottery, you can then use that to bring in your whole family, but that's not how it works. DV recipients can only bring their spouse and unmarried children, 
under the age of 21 with them. You can't use your diversity visa to sponsor other relatives down the line. However, should you choose to naturalize, then you can sponsor other family members to become permanent residents in the USA. 9. Eligibility based on ethnicity or nationality. Some people also assume the DV lottery is reserved for certain ethnicities or nationalities, but that's completely false. The program is open to eligible applicants of all races, ethnicities, and countries of birth as long as they meet the other requirements. There are no quotas or preferences based on your background. However, your country of birth or chargeability should be eligible that year to before you apply. 10. Restricted rights for diversity visa holders. Another myth is that diversity visa recipients have limited rights or freedoms in the United States, but this is not the case at all. Once you obtain your green card through the DV program, you have the same rights and responsibilities as any other permanent resident. You can work, travel, and live freely, just like any other immigrant. Conclusion Woo, that was a lot of ground to cover. I know the diversity visa lottery program can seem pretty mysterious, with all sorts of misconceptions floating around, but hopefully this video has helped shed some light on the realities. The key is going into this with your eyes wide open. Don't fall for the hype or assume things will be handed to you on a silver platter. If you do decide to take a shot at the DV lottery, make sure you understand exactly what you're getting into. Best of luck to you. Catch you in the next one.